All right, thanks for stopping by. I had a visitor today. Yeah, a guy came by in a Toyota 4Runner and he pulled in and talked with me for a while. His name is Paul. He's from Salem, Oregon, which is way off from here. And he was out scouting out dispersed campsites, just like I'm doing. He came in from the direction behind me and he pulled in and he told me about a really good site about four miles up the road. And he asked me if I knew of anything down this way. I said, yeah, well, there's one about a mile down the road. It's not very good. But there's also another about another four miles down the road. Let me get over here and I'll show you. There's another side about four miles. Just follow that road and you'll go over a bridge and you'll see where two creeks merge together. I told him that's a good site, but it's a little buggy. A lot of gnats and flies down there. And he said he was going to go check it out. But he hung out for a while and we talked. Cool guy. I guess he's probably around a little older than me, maybe 55. And we got to talking about uh, the tweakers. He said, have you run into any tweakers? I'm like, yeah, I went over to Ben the other day and couldn't even stay. It was just a, just a total shit show over there. Big drug den right outside of town. He's run into it. He's from Salem but he moved to Southern California many years ago and now he's back and he's uh, just kind of shocked at what's been going on around here. This drug culture, man, it is just a total mess. He was telling me about how the good free dispersed sites he used to know about are just trash now. Tweakers running around where he don't even want to stay there. And I said, I feel you. It's, it's bad when you got to come this far up in the mountains. Just get away from that. It's total bullshit. I'm tired of coddling these people. I might be going out on a limb, but I don't even care anymore. I mean, look what we've done. We've coddled these people. They steal from us, take advantage of us. I don't want anything to do with anybody on hard drugs. This meth stuff and heroin and fentanyl. Now, if you smoke weed, we're going to get along fine. That's not a big thing. I mean, I've done that, uh, really not my thing, but it doesn't make you go crazy. It really just kind of chills you out. But do not ever, ever approach me. If you're on hard drugs, I want nothing to do with you. Stay the hell away from me. These druggies, man, I used to coddle them. I have changed my way of thinking about them so much. I've really thought a lot about how bad it is I've known a lot of people in my life, personal personal story here, that I've got on this stuff, this uh, fentanyl stuff and heroin. And you know what I thought though? I realized about 90% of those people that I know who have gotten on it, they were dirty rotten scoundrels to begin with before they even got on the drugs. And the drugs just made them worse. Now, I know there's a small percentage of people out there that were good, decent people, and they got messed up in this nonsense, this garbage called hard drugs, and it made them, it turned them into bad people. But if you really think about it, the people that you know that are on these drugs, they were rotten to begin with. It just made them worse. They'll steal from you. They'll kill you over $20. It's total bullshit. I am tired of it. I don't care anymore. I really wanted to do some boondocking, dispersed camping, whatever you call it, when I was in Bend, Oregon. There's no way I was going to hang around there. I wouldn't have slept at all at night. Because you know somebody would have come over at night, stole all my stuff. And I'm tired of hearing all these excuses. Well, they get on drugs because they're sad. They're sad and they're depressed. Well, hey... You don't even know how sad and depressed I've been before, but I had enough sense not to do that garbage. People like me, like I used to be, we've caused all this nonsense to go on. Well, I've changed my way of thinking about it. I wised up, let's just say that, I wised up. I have stopped enabling, I've stopped making excuses. It's total garbage, and that's just the way it is, and that's the facts. And that's all I got to talk about today.
Now I'm going to go chill. Thanks for watching. Take care, be well, and smash the bell.